Hi all, Mass Barn Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is April the 14th and that makes this the 34th day in isolation. Today our Prime Minister held a press meeting without saying anything specific, except that they are seeking to expand the slow opening up of Denmark after the lockdown. But no, nothing specific. Now we are just below 300 dead and that is still a very slow climb and fears are also that opening up the schools and now some more shops maybe will make the death toll rise rapidly. Now the subject today talking about electrical things will be the AC servo drive from the last video that smoked a bit that I tore this down a bit quick and dirty, but it's enough to get a few peculiar details that we will take a look at. I did also resume working from home today, which also means that the video pace and uploading frequency here on YouTube will eh, tend to go back to my slower normal pace with maybe a video a week. So let's look at that drive. This is the Omron SGDH30DEOY, the 400 volt 3 kilowatt servo drive servo inverter. Now this is the Sigma 2 version of this system and this is what failed and let a little smoke out in the last video. So let's just get it torn apart, see what's inside. It's not like it's good for anything else anymore. Now it does, however, only come with these small uh, clips here, so probably one of the easier teardowns, at least compared to uh, doing base stations. So you just need the front off there. Now just to make sure that this is discharged, okay here we have it, ground 2 minus TCP minus two. So let's just short circuit those out. No charge left, but we might as well check since we did have it turned on. So not far from now. 0 0.2 volt DC. It is dead. Has a little housekeeping power supply, has some integrated epoxy circuit there. We have some, probably the main Input filtering sitting over here, L1, 2, 3. The normal uh, TBS diodes and some uh, common mode noise filtering. Then we have the rectifier bridge sitting here and the IGPT output module sitting here. And probably have some DC board capacitance sitting underneath the board. All screws off and it reveals a integrated brick. Unreusable. There is no need for this. This is a brick that has built-in brake chopper, probably some overcurrent control, some measurement, some feedback, and there's just no way to repurpose this as it has some control circuitry inside that you have to drive as well in order to make it run. Now you can see down here that it is a uh, Fuji Electric 7 MBP 50 RA 120 and they also write down under that it's 50 amps at 1200 volts. Mm. DC bulk capacitance is running here on the underside and they do not trust the um, PCB to carry all the current so they added some large gauge wire, stiff wire here, to reinforce the tracks, or just instead of the tracks. It seems like we have the bridge rectifier sitting underneath here, a small uh, brick type. We have the uh, three gate drives here, and what does it say up here, just a 10 and 16. So this is probably some of the extra control or surveillance circuitry. And up here we have BPN, hmm. could be just the brake chopper. And you have 
U, V and W for the three motor connections. Copper base plate, pretty heavy actually. So it's a shame it cannot be reused. See that's actually a little funny package here for the bridge rectifier. Not one I have seen before. It says S30 VTA 116. So a good guess would be that's a 30 amp 1600 volt DC. The uh, DC bolt capacitance 400 volts DC 560 microfarads. So just above 2200 microfarads of DC bus capacitance in total. And it really do have a lot of these um, yeah, really large SMD resistors. 33k ohm here. Now going back to the control circuit here, this is the gate drive circuit controlled by a 90,602 microcontroller with its associated logic all around it. Now this is all only to do with driving the brick underneath. Since all the logic for inputs and such, well, it sits up here. And here we can see we have a 223C620F101 microcontroller. And it has a little serial controller sitting next to it, I would guess. So along with a lot of decoupling and input protection, we can see that the, the thing that let the smoke out was a 75 ALS 174. So that seems just like a regular logic uh, input circuit that burned, which would connect to the personal computer or digital operator, which was not connected because it was missing from the machine when I found it. So not quite sure why that would smoke or if it actually smoked before I picked it up. The back side has a bus connection here, which makes me think that we do have some kind of a bus controller, as this can connect up to more drives running in series or with the A master and slaves. It can be seen that running such a machine here in a stone polishing business is dirty and does no good for a PCB. So despite being conformally coded, that is just a lot of dirt. So you do not need much moist in the air before you have a conductive path across something you do not want it to be. There I thought that I had the internal braking resistor, a 4 ohm resistor down here. But looking closer that just can be bridged over by a relay. Here we have a relay here. So that's most likely a dump resistor for the DC bus and not a braking resistor because taking the bottom shield off here there is suddenly something large sitting underneath the heatsink. And if that is not a braking resistor I'm not quite sure what that should be. RF100 so I will say this is probably a 100 watt braking resistor 45. Oh, so that's also nice along with the large 400 watt external braking resistor. I got no hard feelings about this brick, so let's just see if we can get the lid off and see what's inside. Now on these older types of bricks, these lids normally come off pretty easy, and this is no exception. And look at that! Whoa! I don't think I have ever seen a brick with large copper connections straight down to the die. That would normally just be bond wires. That is kind of special and very old school. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick teardown of the unit that yeah, burned on me or simply was defective from the start. So until next time, see ya.